The recent unanimous guilty verdict against former President Donald Trump marks a significant moment in American history, as it is the first time a current or former president has been tried and found guilty in a court of law. Trump was convicted on all 34 felony charges of falsifying business records by a jury in New York City related to payments made during the 2016 election to silence allegations of an affair with adult film actress Stormy Daniels. This verdict underscores a pivotal message. No one, not even a former president, is above the law. In the immediate aftermath, President Biden's 2024 re-election campaign swiftly responded, emphasizing the importance of the rule of law and the need for accountability. Michael Tyler, Biden's campaign communications director, highlighted that Trump has consistently believed he would evade consequences for his actions. Tyler reiterated that despite the verdict, the reality facing American voters remains unchanged. The only definitive way to prevent Trump from returning to the Oval Office is through the ballot box. The Biden campaign underscores the gravity of the threat Trump poses to democracy, describing his potential second term as one filled with chaos, the erosion of freedoms, and the incitement of political violence. The Biden campaign wasted no time leveraging the verdict for fundraising purposes, urging supporters to contribute to the effort to block Trump's path to the presidency. In a text message to supporters, the campaign reiterated the crucial role of voter participation in the upcoming election, framing it as the decisive moment to protect American democracy from Trump's influence. Trump, maintaining his stance of defiance, condemned the verdict as a disgrace and claimed the trial was rigged from the outset. He pointed to the November 5th election as the ultimate judgment by the American people. In exclusive comments to Fox News, Trump alleged that the entire process, from the venue to the judge, was manipulated against him. Despite the legal setback, Trump remains resolute, planning a news conference to further address his supporters and the public. The charges against Trump stem from a series of payments made during his 2016 presidential campaign to Stormy Daniels, with his former attorney, Michael Cohen, paying Daniels $130,000 to ensure her silence about an alleged affair. Prosecutors argued that these payments were a deliberate attempt to influence the election outcome illegally. Throughout the trial, both Cohen and Daniels provided testimony for the prosecution, enduring rigorous cross-examination by Trump's legal team. Throughout the six-week trial, President Biden remained largely silent on the case, likely to avoid any appearance of interference and to counter Trump's allegations that the trial was politically motivated. However, in a strategic shift, the Biden campaign recently held a news conference outside the courthouse featuring high-profile surrogates like actor Robert De Niro and former police officers Harry Dunn and Michael Fanon, who were involved in the January 6th Capitol attack. This move signals a potential new phase in Biden's campaign strategy, aiming to confront Trump's rhetoric head-on and reinforce their message to voters. As the trial concludes, the Biden campaign suggests that this may be just the beginning of more direct confrontations with Trump's narrative. Officials have indicated that they will continue to seek opportunities to drive their message home, emphasizing the critical importance of the upcoming election. Despite the legal proceedings, Trump's position as the likely Republican nominee remains strong, posing an ongoing challenge for Biden's re-election efforts the campaign faces the task of navigating how aggressively to label Trump as a convicted felon and determining the most effective ways for President Biden to address this unprecedented situation.